before I start this video, let me make the usual hood disclaimer. This is not real fur, guys. All right, I didn't really need to pick, put this thick coat on this morning. It's actually quite warm. <laughs> We've got daffodils, the first sign of spring. Also got some little flowers on here. Nature's coming to life again. Thank Christ for that. Yes, guys, this is another COVID-19 video. This is important. I'm going to carry on talking about it. So it's my Saturday morning, quite early. We've got 164 confirmed cases now in the UK. That was from yesterday when I checked before I came out with the John Hopkins website. It hadn't been updated since yesterday, so I, I don't actually know what today's figures will be, but I'll add it in at the end. So what I'm going to do in this video is tell you what I've learned in prepping for COVID-19. I'm not a prepper. I've watched some, you know, those extreme prepping videos and I find them, find them fun and I sometimes find them informative in some ways, but I'm not a prepper. I tend to like stock up a little bit on cans, canned food and dried food, but I don't have that much of it, like in stock, so to speak. And over the Christmas period, I made some videos on it. I used up a lot of what was in my cupboards that had been there for like forever and was due to expire. So they'd probably been like cans of beans that have been in there for like two years. I've started from scratch, not quite from scratch, but yeah. At the beginning of January, when I first started making videos about this topic, when the thing was spreading really, really quickly in Wuhan, and only Wuhan at the time, and a little, you know, a little bit spread out in China, I figured that this was going to be everybody's problem. And I said this in videos at the time, and other people were coming online saying, look, this is going to be a problem. This is going to turn into a global pandemic. It was clear just by the sheer numbers of spread day on day that that was going to be what was going to happen. So at that time, I started to prep. I bought myself a stack of face masks from Amazon. I already have some goggles from a DIY project I did a while ago, so didn't need goggles. I also got myself a selection of uh, disposable gloves. I thought this, these things are going to be in short supply. And yes, now they are in short supply. What the hell? Oh, she's jumping in loads of mud. <laughs> Good for the soul, I tell you. <laughs> so yeah, glad I did that. They were cheap, but not anymore. As I did some shopping, I just got a bit more shopping than I would normally. I've got at least a month's worth of food in my house. If I have to self-isolate, as I did when I had swine flu, I'm not gonna require a food delivery. There's information coming out from UK supermarkets that they won't be able to supply, you know, much more deliveries than they do now. People are panic buying toilet rolls in like various parts of the world. I've got a month's supply of toilet roll. India have come out this week saying that they're not going to sell the generic drugs that they are a big exporter of including paracetamol. I don't know what it's called in your country. We call it paracetamol. I'll show you my local shop later. But when I went in yesterday, no paracetamol to be found. So I've stocked up a little bit on paracetamol and ibuprofen. Again, don't know what that's called in your country. Because I anticipated a shortage of those kind of low level medications that people use to keep fever down. Again, if I have to self isolate and I'm not feeling well, there you go. Also, I've got a month's supply, at least a month's supply of cat food and dog food. You know, it, it didn't really take much thinking about whatsoever. And I'm so glad I did it. 
If this proved to be nothing important, none of what I've bought is wasted, none of it. I mean, maybe the face masks, but I guess if I ever had to look after someone's rabbit, I would use a face mask because I'm really badly allergic to rabbits. But yeah, that's a bit of a long shot. But anyway, yeah. And, and it's really sad that we're seeing the panic buying that we are. But I guess it's understandable in a way because people didn't have that foresight like I did. And some of you guys think I'm stupid for various reasons. Well, you carry on thinking that. And I'm not being smug or self-satisfied in any way. I just saw this thing coming. Simple as that. All right, so let's take a look through the cupboards. This is just baking supplies and condiments. Not a great deal to see there. In this one, oats some rice. We've got packets of stuff, God knows what. They've just accumulated over time, but it's mainly rice, I think. Again, accumulated over time. I don't know what that's doing in there. This just needs sorting out because I've just been sticking stuff in. So those bags are kilo, kilos of oats. And then I've got cans. I'm not going to get all this out, but it's basically, you know, protein rich. So there's beans, there's uh, peas, there's chickpeas, there's, there's like more behind. So there's like three levels depth. Um, I've actually run out of space in this cupboard and I've started a box as well which I'm not going to get out. Um, I've also got lots of pasta. Oops. Dropping herbs. Uh, pasta, wheat-free, gluten-free. Oh my God. <laughs> Shit. Wheat-free, gluten-free, milk-free, egg-free, soy-free. <laughs> it's free. It's free. I wish it was free. It's way more expensive than the normal pasta. So I've got several packets of that. I've also got lasagna sheets. I've also got noodles i've got more noodles somewhere more noodles um i've got loads of like baked beans um those are my son's cereals um yeah say no more washing powder i've got one there i've got one up there i've got one up there can you see that up there as well that's about eight packets of polenta to make cornbread because that's delicious what else? I need to stock up on fruit. I'm going to go shopping today to get some fresh stuff. Although I do have um, frozen fruit, frozen berries in the freezer. I'm not going to unpack the freezer because, well, it's absolutely rammed and I can't be bothered. So all I've got in here at the moment is bananas and avocados. I've got some onions and a butternut squash in there. Um, let's take a look in the fridge. So again, like I said, I need to stock up on fresh stuff. But I've got some, I don't know, milk, tofu. Yeah, it's carnist. There's some Branston pickle there in the back, just cause, bit of cheese. Some lentils back, back there. All right, so yeah, uh, that needs sorting out. I don't exactly know what's in there, but it's, uh, it's greens. More greens, got spinach, we've got cauliflower, which definitely needs using up. We've got lettuce that needs using up. So yeah, that's my fridge. This is first aid supplies that I've had for like donkey's years. So that's fine. I've got a good stash of supplies for first basic first aid, vinyl gloves. Hello. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Uh, there's the dog food. So that's a, a 15 kilo bag. A 15 kilo bag lasts me a month. I've, uh, I've cracked it open, so I, I will order a new one this week. And then in here, yes, it's a shit tip, but in here, I've got, I, I always keep this in stock anyway, white vinegar, I use it for cleaning. Uh, what's there? Believe it or not, that is bicarb of soda, baking soda, because again, I use that for cleaning. That's the box that I've started with foodstuffs in, so there's packets of rice, there's nutritional yeast, there's beans in there. I think that's it. Let's get out the shit tip. So yeah, I think I'm organised. Organised, guys. Jackie. 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 Hi, Jackie. Oh, by the way, guys, I've got something else to say. Somebody asked me about this top. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? And they said, is it wool? 
No, actually it isn't wool. It's Jack's hair. As Jack's got groomed over the last few months, I've been saving it and I've knitted it all together into a nice top for myself. <laughs> you bunch of suckers. <laughs> If you need toilet rolls, there's plenty here. We don't actually need any toilet rolls, Mia. We don't need toilet rolls. Here we go. They've restocked. Co-op is well stocked. You got this thing sorted. You're not gonna get your shoes muddy. Just walk at the side. I think it's 10 people in two countries, but I think it's Okay, it's a, it's a lot more than two. Three. No. Four. It's more than a hundred thousand now. That's um, a lot. How many? Hundred thousand. So you've got to wash your hands lots. So you don't spread germs. Alright, a parrot, budgie, canary, chicken, duck, goose, swan, sparrow, robin, thrush. Pigeon, dove, turkey, You've done. yay, magpie, crow, ah. killy.